Welcome to this video. In this tutorial video I will be basically explaining about Google Cloud Uses which is brought to you by TIJ Tech Bhutan. Here I am going to give a brief step to go on with how to build your own custom visualization in Google Data Studio. Before that let us have a look on today's agenda. 1. What is Google Data Studio? 2. What is Data Studio Community Visualization? 3. How to go on with Community Visualization? Lastly we'll be showing the end product. 1. What is Google Data Studio? Google Data Studio allows you to create branded reports with data visualizations from your data, which will easy to read, very convenient to share with your clients and is very easy to customize. 2. What is Data Studio Community Visualization? Data Studio Community Visualizations allow you to build your code on your own and use your own custom visualizations in Data Studio. 3. How to go on with Community Visualization Community Visualization is mainly for the individual to upload and load their own code for visualizing their desired chart that will be displayed in Google Studio. For that it mainly have three basic steps. 1. Writing their code. 2. Uploading that codes in Google Cloud Platform. 3. Loading those code in Google Data Studio. Now let us see what should be in those three steps. Firstly in writing code, it mainly consists of four main codes as shown below. Now, we will write those four files in Sublime. So we need to write a JavaScript code for a new design chart. We will name it myviz.js and for more styling we can build a CSS code and we'll name it myviz.css. We also need manifest.json which provides metadata about the visualization and the location of the other resources and myviz.json which provides data and style configuration options for the property panel. After completing the codes, let us go on to next step, that is uploading that codes in Google Cloud Platform. After building those four code file, we need to upload those file in Google Cloud Platform. We will create a bucket and will upload those four file in that bucket. After uploading those file in Google Cloud Platform, let us go on to next step that is loading those code in Google Data Studio. Now we need to load Google Data Studio in browser. We will reach to this page then we need to click on create, hit on data source, click on file upload, select the data that you want to apply visualization. Here I am using a data from Facebook. If the upload is successful this button will turn green. After uploading click on connect then we should turn on community visualization access to on. Now click on create report. Now new window will open or we can also call it dashboard. Till now we didn't use our code. Here we will call it with component ID. So this will be our final answer. Now let us go on with final step that is showing final output with a demo. This is the data that I have have extracted from Facebook from Insight. You can also download from Facebook Insight or you can use any type of data. Here you can also down in CSV file or Excel file. You also choose the date range. Starting date and end date. For me I am using May month. I have already downloaded those data so I will move to next step. Here in that data set I have added an extra column which will be used for ascending and descending in the chart. These are the code for my visualization. Here we use four code file. First one is manifest.json, second one is mivis.json third one is myviz.css. This is the main code for the chart style and is also optional and lastly the main code that is our JavaScript code. Here this long code will represent those data in a chart in Google Data Studio. Now to move on as said earlier, we need to create a bucket and save all those code inside a bucket. These are the required files. 
and most importantly we need to set it to public so that we could access it from Google Data Studio. Now we will load the Excel file or a data that we have extracted from Facebook Insight. We will upload it. If the upload is successful this button will turn to green. Then click on connect. Change the date type to text. Turn on the community visualization access. Then save it. After that click on create a report. Click on add to report. We will choose second colon to 28 days total reach for better presentation. Now let's make this table bit long for clearer data. We will choose a date range for better presentation of chart and details. I will choose the May month since this data is from May month. We can plot our data in many charts as you can see here there are many charts in Data Studio for visualization. There are different type of style that you can choose. Now for our final visualization, that is calling our desired style by a component ID and loading in Data Studio. This is my path to the bucket. Here I will use x-axis as 28 days total reach and will sort them using the sort column. By using sort column I can make that dart I can make that chart in ascending and also in descending order.
thank you for watching this tutorial video.